Hi everyone! Today we're going to be having a go at making a castle fit for a king or a queen. Now before we start this craft, have a little look in the description below for a list of all of the materials that I used and any materials that might be useful for this craft. The first thing that we're going to do is collect our cardboard or any other bits and pieces that we have to make our castle and we're going to arrange them in a way that we are happy with. Here I've got some toilet rolls to be my little turrets and some kitchen rolls to be my big towers. Then the next thing I did was use some grey card and wrap it around the central box of my castle. But you could also use paint or pens, whatever you want to decorate the main part of your castle. Then I wanted to add some battlements to the top of my castle which are the sort of square looking things that you see at the top of castle walls. So I went in with a pair of scissors and I cut some little slits in my card like you can see here and then I folded down every second slit. The next thing I did was decorate my towers and my turrets. So I wanted these to be white, so I decided to paint them white, but again, you could wrap them with paper or color them in, whatever you fancy. While I was waiting for them to dry, I found some circular objects that I could draw around onto a different piece of card to use to make the tops of my turrets. So out of the card, we're going to have a go at making some little cones. And if you want taller cones on the top of your turrets or your towers, um, I suggest drawing a slightly bigger circle than the ones I've done here. So I do one circle per piece of A4 card or paper. Then I cut out my circles. To make our cones we want to do a small slit into the circle into the middle of the circle and then put one piece of the circle on top of the other and spin it round like this to make a cone shape and then you want to get some sellotape and tape that side down. I wanted to have lots of different shapes and sizes of cones on top of my turrets and towers so I used different sized circles to make them. I then wanted to add some more details so I added a front door just by using a bit of cardboard and cutting it into a door shape and then I stuck that on the front of my castle and I also added some windows in and some hinges and a doorknob just with a black marker. I then made some matching windows on a white piece of paper to add to the grey part of my castle. And this is what it looked like. I then wanted to make a backdrop for my castle so I just got some fabric and some tissue paper and I also added some white sand to the edges to look like snow because I was imagining my castle being somewhere snowy. And this is the final product. Thanks for watching guys and I can't wait to see all of the different types of castles that you make. 